take easy. Can't undo your tragedy. But I can punish the people responsible.
We are moving on from the tower now. Mines are disabled. And Fergus is scouting ahead. <sighs> Just had a big fight with the Nazis. Barely made it. William? Don't know if this is normal, but I think the pregnancy is making me a little, uh, <laughs> you know, <laughs> excited. <coughs> Oh, God, is everyone listening in on this frequency? Yes. Yes. Max Hoss.
Sounds like someone is putting up a fight. Take my hand. You a preacher? No, this. Lord, Lord, I picked these rags up off the streets. Name's Horton. William J. Blaskowitz. Blaskowitz. Terror belly hellfire, son. Ain't you supposed to be dead? I recovered. Well, terror belly don't mean to be rude, but what's your business around these parts, apart from saving our sorry asses? I'm with the Chrysal Circle, and we're starting a revolution. Are you now? Now this here is the last remaining haven for the cancerous growth of independent free thinkers. Spreading all over the South and yonder. Oh, we be the outcasts, the poor. Well, everyone who ain't part of the American goddamn bourgeois. That man right there, getting yourself a drink? That's my old time friend, Paris Jack. A Paris Jack is a brawler. Cutter, a true believing anarchist, and a hell of a clair on that player, ain't that right, Paris? Don't like to toot my own horn, except literally. Streets are quiet, Horton. Nobody's. Wait. He got them eyes can see a speck of dirt in a cow's ass off a hundred yards. I tell you, them goddamn nasty son bitches coming here, we gonna shoot their asses out, I tell you what. Going out in a blaze of glory, hallelujah! You got a lot of good people here. You should join us. We could always use more good people. Well, how you reckon to start this revolution of yours, Terror Billy? Terror Billy? Holy shit, it's him. Didn't that Nazi bitch kill you? Seems our friend here kind of told St. Pete to go fuck himself. He's with the Crossout Circle, walking legend. I know who he is. Oh, damn it. Here they come. Paris, I'm feeling a little jittery. Do you mind taking the edge off? Let me see what I can do about that. You know, my ma always said... Never trust a man can't handle his whiskey. So you sit right down, sit there, Billy, and drink up. Ugh. What in the world the fuck is this shit? Old Horton special. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Now listen, Terry Billy, I respect your ambition. But there's nothing can be done no more. Uh, the world has sank into the crapper, and all we can do now is drink this whiskey and watch the vortex suck it all down. Didn't expect your belly to be quite so yellow. We've been fighting for a revolution since long before them Nazis came here. We were the first to start building a civil rights movement to advocate equality for everyone. You know the concept of civil rights, Terror Belly? No, you don't. You're just a jarhead, ain't you? Buddy, I laid my life on the line for freedom, justice, and the American way while you and your bohemian friends were passing out Bolshevik propaganda and opposing the draft on every street corner. What good is your fucking equality? You can't muster the backbone to stick up for your people while the coyote's scratching at your front door. We stood up against the imperialist war machine in the United States of America and the greedy money men of Wall Street. It was itching to send the children of the proletariat off to die in foreign lands so that they could be filling their coffers. It worked their sons bleeding on the beaches. No, they draft people like you for their dirty work while they's watching the dollars roll in. You're the pawn, the patsy of the takerous men in marble mansions. Well, I see through that shit and decided not to be a party to it. And yet here you are, guns in hand, shooting Nazis just like me. Difference is you come late to the party. Perhaps your kind had gotten their asses in gear. We'd have won the war. Don't spill that shit on the table, or they'll lead right through it. This'll get you drunk. Hell, I ain't got time for your horse shit. 
You gotta make the call. Give up and die or step the fuck up. I ain't wanting to argue with you, Terry Billy. I'm too tired to fight. You tired? Man, fuck you. I got kids on the way. And I'll be damned if I'm gonna raise them in a world run by these Nazi assholes. So what's it gonna be? You hillbilly, degenerate moonshiner, Bolshevik cowards, goddamn traitors. seen a man remain coherent after more than one shot old holding special. I like you, Billy. Like your gumption. All right. Let's start this revolution. Hit it. Paris been working on this puppy for over a month now. Hot damn. How'd you tame it? Pop the hood, pull some wires, that about it. He's a quick learner, Paris. Always figures out what's what. So, what's your plan? You're gonna ride it, cowboy. Yes, sir, you're gonna ride on out there, draw off the Nazi fire, while we make our way down to the harbor with all those who survived the purge. Gotcha. All hinges on that boat of yours showing up. It'll be there. Oh, easy now, easy. There you go, just mind her temper. Horton, you better get up here. Nazi swarming in like flies on ship. Check, check. All set there, Billy. Now get! Let's see what this puppy can do.
damn big. Anya, come in, Anya. Do you read? William, I read you. What's happening? You okay there, darling? I'm doing... Ah, fine. <laughs> I'm trying to regroup with Fergus. I've contacted Grace. The U-boat is on its way in, and we are on our way to Lakeview District. Well, listen, don't do anything reckless. You stay safe. I'll be fine. Anya out. Horton, what's your status? Rounding up the last of the people and fixing to leave. Now make your way to the Lakeview District. Bring everyone. We're getting a ride out of here. Well, Billy, that might be a fine idea in theory, but I reckon all them Nazis between here and yonder might slow us down. Next stop, Lakeview District. Nazis here. Boss us top side of the... Get on ya! What's the name of this fucking place? We're on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. Think we can hold out for a wee bit, but these Nazis keep coming like torrential diarrhea! Terror Billy, we've met up with your people on the roof of the Lakeview apartment building. That ride of yours better get here soon, because we won't hold out much longer. Hey, Conrad, you up and went on a tropical cruise with our boat? The Nazis are fucking killing us here! Fergus, I read... Sorry, it's being held up. Working to resolve the problem. Keep doing what you're doing, Anya. If we're going down, we're going down fighting! Grace! We need evacuation now! Christ, Grace, I was close. You're still a Conrag, mind you, but you're the most lovable Conrag I've ever laid eyes on. Fergus, Anya, help everyone get on board the U-boat. The Nazis will regroup and attack. Hurry up. Laskowitz, get your ass up on the Lakeview apartment building roof and climb on board the U-boat. We've spotted the Altsmerzer on the radar. It'll be here any minute. Haul ass.
Blaskowitz, all of the evacuees are on board, but we can't leave. Props are stuck in the mud. We're stranded, and the outsmercher is incoming. If it gets here before we bail, we are fucked. I say it's time to ready the nuclear cannon. What are you talking about, Fergus? I figure the shockwave from the atom bomb could push the boat out to sea. Now that's the stupidest fucking plan I have ever heard. Set. Well, for every action, there's an equal and opposite reaction. Blaskowitz, hop on the nuclear cannon and fire it to maximum distance. I just hope it's far enough away from us not to rupture the hull. Got it. Looks like the Alice Mercer lost track of us. Clear skies on the scope. For our angle, commands are now. Using the taunt terrorists. But in the way back, the Alice Mercer would roam from city to city, crushing any resistance. Now, if we ignite a revolt, you can be sure the Alice Mercer would swoop in, put an end to it, break and say hell's bells. But we gonna start this revolution. We need to put an end to the Alice Mercer firstly. So then we mount a surprise attack. Conquer the Ausmercer and use it against the Nazis. You know, the Ausmercer is protected by an automated security system called Odin. Seen it when I was up there. We'll hijack the system, find the Odin codes, and disable the fucking thing. Yeah, but that kind of information is a top military secret. Only the Oberkommando is privy to it. Sounds like your basic Nazi military facility infill. I'll break into the Oberkommando and steal the information off their uh, computing machines. Not a problem. Except for the fact that the Oberkommando is now on fucking planet Venus. Venus? Ever since you obliterated the Oberkommando at Roswell with that nuclear bloody warhead, the Nazis have been trying to shove the shite back into the horse. So, they moved the Oberkommando to another fucking planet to keep it away from us. All of their top brass, all their top military secrets have been moved to a fully secured base on Venus. Venus. There is no way you are making it to Venus, sunshine. I don't care how mighty your arsenal or how much fucking manpower. There is not a hope in hell you can bypass all that security. Yeah? Not with that attitude. Except maybe there is. In two days, final auditions for the role of the infamous terrorist William Terribilly Glaskowitz take place on the enigmatic Aristat habitat on Venus. One of the hopeful actors is Jules Redfield, here getting a snack from his favorite milkshake bar in his hometown of Needles, California. What you thinking, Anya? William and I are going for milkshakes. His papers are all in his glove box. Yeah. What about him? Well, is he a Nazi? You a Nazi fella? <laughs> Can't even tell no more. How I look? Like a walrus. Don't forget your luggage. Remember, you are Jules Redfield, professional actor. Traveling to Venus to audition for the part of William Joseph Blaskovich. Now, you are summoned by personal invitation, so security should be minimal. Break a leg. Mr. Redfield? Mr. You, Sir Redfield? Oh, 
Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, that's me. I'm Helena, the director of this film. Apologies for the long journey, but my producer favors a safe location and has an affinity for dramatic settings. Uh, come. Oh, uh, my, my luggage. Someone will bring it for you. Come, come. Welcome. Welcome to the audition, Mr. Redfield. Now that you're all here, I ask you to prepare yourselves. You must be off book for this audition, so be sure to memorize your lines before the producer gets here. He has a volatile disposition, so be careful what you say and do in his presence. Mr. Redfield, I can't stress enough how important it is you learn these lines by heart. Your script is on the chair. I will be with you shortly. Can't blow my cover. Better keep a low profile. Please. How am I supposed to remember this shit? Nah, man. I'm gonna write this down. The director saw me on a mystery show. Thought I had the right face. This is exciting, man. Venus and all? Yeah, no, that's a little weird, though, no? Why Venus? What's wrong with L.A.? Producer gotta be a real big cheese. Uh, Muhammad must go to the mountain type deal. Hmm. Any stage experience? What was your name? Roland, was it? Ronald. Ronald. Nah. I used to do uh, broadcasts uh, when I was younger. Nowadays, it's all pictures and TV. Yeah, I thought about doing film acting, but I just love the theater. I'm not sure I even want this role. It's not like real acting unless you're on a stage in front of a live audience. You know what I mean. Sure thing, Chief. Unbelievable. Murder your dirty race. I will murder your dirty race too. Oh, come on, Johnny. Hey. <laughs> Better than this. <clears throat> I'll murder. Ah. Oh. <clears throat> I will murder your dirty race. Too. Oh, Jesus, you moron. Würden Sie mir bitte verraten, wer in Gottes Namen das ist? Ja, ja, es sind Schauspieler, mein Führer. Schauspieler? Ja. Äh, diese Männer wollen für die Rolle von William Josef Blaskowitz vorsprechen. Es sind Schauspieler. Es tut mir leid, meine Nachricht hat sie wohl nicht erreicht. Was? Und bessere konnten wir nicht finden? Keiner von denen sieht dem Kerl auch nur ähnlich. Ja, 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 das kriegen Gott, wir. Gott, nochmal! Das kriegen wir mit Schminke hin, mein, mein Führer. Oh ja, Schmink. Mhm. Gut. Das ist magisch. Ja. Magisch. Magisch. Schauspieler. Geschult in der Kunst der Verkleidung und der Täuschung. Ja. Ähnlich wie Spione. Vielleicht ist er ein Spion unter Ihnen. Sie haben sicher alle mein Buch gelesen. Oh, yes, mein Führer. And my children have read it too. I loved it, Mr. Hitler. Super good. Mr. Hitler, wenn Sie mich ansprechen, sagen Sie mein Führer. Verstanden? Haben Sie keinen Respekt vor Autorität? Ihre Worte gewähren Einblick in einen höchst verraterischen Geist. I am so sorry, mein Führer. Sind Sie denn ein Idiot? No, mein Führer. Sind Sie ein verkleideter Schurke, ein Jude? Ein verräterischer Jude? No, no, mein Führer. I'm... I'm from Arizona. Sie 
kommen immer wieder Wölfe im Schafspelz. Konspirierende, lügende, niederträchtige Juden. Ich erkenne sie schon von Weitem. Oh. Wenn Sie mein Buch gelesen haben, wissen Sie, dass ich die Wahrheit kenne. Und wer die Wahrheit auf seiner Seite hat, der gewinnt immer. So konnte ich die Welt von den Juden reinigen und so konnte ich die minderwertigen Kommunisten in die Knie zwingen. Oh, so ging das. Ich habe ihn vernichtet. William, oh, Josef, Platzkowitsch. Oh. Helene, mein absolutes Meisterstück, das Jahrhundert Epos und mein künstlerisches Erbe. Wer mein Drehbuch liest, der wird die zahllosen Stunden zu schätzen wissen, die ich aufgewendet habe, damit jede Szene, jeder Zeiler, jeder Silber fehlerfrei ist. Bravo, mein Führer, bravo! Oh, um Gottes Willen. Zusammen mit ihm. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. What the hell did I write? And you are a Nazi whore. You monster! What are you going to do to me? I will rape and murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed, but the German race will rise again! Shit. I will murder your dirty race too. <laughs> Die Worte waren richtig, ja. Aber sie haben anscheinend nicht die mindeste Ahnung von der Psyche eines Mannes wie William Josef Platzkowitsch. Wie können sie sein, was sie nicht verstehen? Sie. Spielen sie die Rolle. Füllen sie, füllen sie, füllen sie die Rolle. A cold-blooded terrorist. That is what you are. And you're a Nazi whore. You monster. What are you going to do to me? I will rape you. And I will murder you. So many German innocent lives you have killed. But the German race will rise again. And I will murder your dirty race too. <laughs> Sie könnten von ihm lernen. Ich gebe Ihnen, was Sie brauchen, um den Geist dieses Irren zu verstehen, dieses dreckigen Untermensch. Oh, ich kannte ihn. In- und auswendig. Und darum konnte ich ihn gefangen nehmen und ihn der Gerechtigkeit übergeben. Äh, mein Gott. Mein Gott, habe ich Hunger. William Josef Platzkowitsch. Aufgewachsen in Mesquite, Texas. Mischlingskind eines Verkäufers und einer polnischen Jüdin. Die Mutter wurde vom Vater ausgeliefert, starb in einem Vernichtungslager in Neumexiko. 
Selbst als Erwachsener waren seine geistigen Fähigkeiten noch die eines Kindes. Und tatsächlich, als wir nach seiner Exekution aufschnitten, konnte man sehen, dass er Jude ist. Helene, machen Sie weiter. Ich bin müde. Aspirants, as you know, this role is very physical. William Josef Bloskowitz was not a man of intellect, he was a man of action. The scene takes place right before the scene you did earlier. Bloskowitz is about to plant the bombs that will massacre the German children in the orphanage. But first, he must eliminate the brave soldier standing guard outside the school in a brutal fight scene. Mr. Le Llewellyn Irving? Llewellyn Ewing. Yeah. Why don't you start? You will each improvise a fight sequence. And uh, once the guard is eliminated, uh, you finish the scene by reading the lines from the cue card, exactly as written. Places and action. <coughs> Oh, oh, stop, stop! Oh, I, I'm bleeding, I'm bleeding. I, I, I need to take a break. Line, please. See, I, I need a doctor. Line. Okay. Your bravery is no match for a Neanderthal like myself. Besides, I only know how to fight in a dirty manner. And now, to kill all the innocent children, Germany's future. Ha, 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 what? Oh, God, God! Das war schrecklich. Mr. Redfield, please. The floor is yours. you wanted? Is that what you had in mind? You Nazi assholes. Because that's all you're getting. Wunderbar. Wunderbar. Haben Sie das gesehen, Helene? Wie geboren für die Rolle. Oh, er wird mein Platz gewinnen. Oh Gott. Er ist mehr als perfekt. Let me help you unpack, Mr. Redfield. Was zur Hölle ist das? Brace yourself, Adolf. I'm leaving here with your secret Odin codes. Then we steal the Ausmerzer, take out General Angle, and show the American people what revolution looks like. Soll ich dir mal was sagen? Was? Ich hab noch nie einen Mund gebracht. Wirklich?
Richtung wird angegriffen. Alpha sofort sicher. the surface. Bitte Zugangsdaten eingeben. Achtung, Fehlfunktion, Navigationssysteme beschädigt, nicht, nicht, nicht. Notfallausruf eingeleitet. Landung in T-3, 2, 1. Time to break into the facility. 
find the Oberkommando. Steal the Odin codes for General Angle's ship. Slick as a whistle. Heat again.
own person. a howl in Hell's Gate. That view is prettier than a pie supper.
to the Oberkommando. Population? Shitload of assholes. You got my old and codes, assholes. Welcome to the Oberkommando. Population? Zero. Alright. Now I gotta somehow get to that main terminal and bring home the Odin codes for the Ausmerzer mission. down start breaking shit Codes. Where are you? Gotcha.
<laughs> Why are the emergency lights on? Where is everyone? Something is wrong. Be ready for anything. I'll cover you. Happy birthday, William. Here's to you, all American. <laughs> Didn't think I'd make it this long. <laughs> well, here's to Brother Blaskowitz, toughest motherfucker I ever met. Terrible! That's some hot damn good banana cream pie Max right there. Max made! Make some! <laughs> <laughs> now, here's some wicked love. <laughs> I'm gonna tear a hole in poor old Orton's tummy. <laughs> Boys! Please! <laughs> so, how was Venus? Did you bring me back anything? Well, the uh, souvenir shop was closed, but I brought you this. Holy shit, Blaskowitz. Well, I absolutely must tell you about the silverfish. It's definitely true. It is a very small <laughs> Seeger! Yes, Paul Quicks! Listen, I'm gonna need your Nazi eyeballs on this one. I am not a Nazi. Whatever. Look, I'm trusting you to decrypt the Odin codes so we can disable the defense system and hijack the outsmarts. Yes, for Chris. But please stop calling me a Nazi. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your Nazi feelings? Suck it up, princess. <laughs> you still here? <laughs> no, I <I'm> said <still> <laughs> Oh, what the fuck? God damn it. Oh shit, now it's on. Comrades! Brothers and sisters, thank you very much. Tomorrow we are gonna shoot Nazis until we run out of bullets. But tonight, tonight is for Black Squids. Here We've done barley, but I think, well, I like rye, but he usually does corn. And then with. Wake up, man. You're on pilot duty. Man, where's your arm? Chris? What's going on? Our pilot is still drunk, and we're supposed to be in the air by now. Can he fly in this condition? Well, he sure can't fucking fly with one arm. 
Okay, Horton, Anya, get him some coffee or something to sober him up. And Blaskowitz, find Fergus's fucking arm before this whole operation turns into a shit show? God damn. Hey. Fergus? Fergus. Fergus. Hey, wake Can up. Can you hear me? Hey. Fergus, it's Anya. Hey. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh, I tell you, when a man's gone teetotally drunk and disorderly, there's only one cure. What's that? Old Horton's patented hangover blaster. She doesn't swallow his own tongue. What's in it? Uh, let me see. A uh, tablespoon ketchup, mm, orange juice, half a tin of anchovies, two raw eggs, chili pepper. Two teaspoons. The dough chicken stock, if you got it. And cough syrup and about a cup of fine whiskey. No siree, Bob. I haven't seen Fergus's arm here or anywhere, Captain. Looking for Fergus's arm, mister? Sorry to disappoint you, but I was kind of too busy getting wasted to pay attention. Fergus, why you always gotta be losing your arm? Nein, Herr Blaskovich, I know not where this arm is you seek. Haven't seen Fergus's arm guy. Just looking at the thing. He's... Looking for Fergus' arm? I heard he had some quarrel with that beautiful French madame, Maria. Full steam ahead, guy. Commander Fergus' okay. arm? I know he had some kind oh. of fight with Maria in Club Kreisau. <clears throat> yes, that's all I know. Oh boy, someone there is a Ferguson his arm. Let's plead. Let's pause. Club Kreisau. Do you not think I see it? Hey, Brother Blasco. Captain, have you time to help out? Now listen to this, please. We managed to intercept a transmission detailing all the construction material they shipped over to Planet Phoenix. Get this. On the list is a fully functional battle walker. They gotta be using it for painting ceilings or some shit. I mean, who the fuck knows? Anyway, you should check out the brief on the war map. Good luck out there, B. Captain, I need some help. Kitos, Captain Blaskovici. Stay on the platform. Grace told me to organize the storage bay by the moon pool. It's been in shambles since the Ausmercher attack. But although Vitun and... Passes are blocked by debris. Can't even get in there. Come with me and clear the entrances. I really don't want to let Grace down. This whole day has been from us. I know you have extra sisu from your ramshackles contraption, so hopefully you can find a way to ram through the debris.
are now, Captain Blaskovici. Now I just have to figure out how to get this place organized. Thank you. Thank you for your help, Captain. I wonder if Craze will let me build a song. Sei gegrüßt. Hi there. Ferguson? I ain't seen her, bro. Any luck finding Ferguson's arm? Ask around, see if anybody's seen it. I'm not one to pry, but I couldn't help but notice Fergus's outburst. He was so mad at that arm, but where he left it, I sadly don't know. Didn't even know a man's arm could just up and go missing. He the kind of thing I look out for. Focus is um uh, focus is um no I can't say that I've seen it. Oh, Shimshin. Uh Paris Jack told me there was a problem with Fergus's arm. I, I had no chance to talk to Fergus about it yet. No, Signore. I see Fergus talk to Maria. She became very angry. I'm not terribly. Hello, 
to be. <laughs> yeah. The old Scott lost his arm. So, you well, were sorry, a teacher? History teacher. Yes. I like history. It's just hard to tell what actually happened and what's the I heard you were looking for Fergus's arm. You should speak to Paris Jack. I saw him talking to Fergus last night. I think Paris is in the cantina. Sorry, buddy. I ain't seen Fergus's arm. Mr. Blaskovich, could you give me a minute? As writer, I have habit of observing people. I have observed our friend, Max. I see big sadness inside of him. Whatever we can do to help him is good. I know Max has love of toys. Maybe you keep eye open for toys when you are out fighting Nazis? Please, do this for me. Did you talk to Paris Jack in the cantina? Good morning, honey. Whatever you do, don't read Knights of the Velvet Assassin. Profoundly obnoxious. Hey. Billy, I might have some information for you. Hey, Paris Jack. So, I'm looking for Fergus's arm. You seen that thing? You know, I did see Fergus late last night. <laughs> see the loss over there? Don't trace, man. Don't look. Yeah, I was meaning to give her this rose, and... Uh, I wanted to say something romantic. You're a romantic, right? Oh, no, on occasion. <laughs> right. Nothing sleazy. Uh, she's a good lass, and I want her to know I'm an honorable man. So, how's this? Maria, ever since I saw you, 